in the same way that we together took a strong decision. We ought to give the more earnest heed They have a responsibility for their own life. As a believer, you and I must work on retaining the word that we've read and heard. You see, when, when you consider, when you consider that unlike the Old Testament times, you would have to be under a cloud. <laughs> you would have to be what? Under a cloud. So let's move on. You see, beloved ones? You see? When the Bible says Christ is the end of the law, when the Bible announces to us that Christ is the end of the law, as recorded in Romans 10 and verse 4, for watch it, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone and the gospel may preach to you it, all you've got to do is to put your face in the grace god law is out of the way now it's it's a time of grace so all you have to do to be saved is to put your faith in the grace now what romans 10 4 say is exactly what the bible means it means that Christ is the end of the law. The old thing has waxed old. <laughs> and not just old, but has vanished away. Hebrews 8 and verse 13. In that he says, A new covenant he hath made. A new covenant has now come because... He has made the first old. Now that which decays and waxes old is ready to what? To vanish away. You see why we just keep singing hallelujahs? You see why we just keep saying hallelujah? The old has passed and the new has come. The old has passed. The new thing, my friends, the new thing, my friends, is the new spirit. The new spirit. And it is just the way our Lord works his thing. It's all about God's grace. It is all about God's woo, It is all about God's grace. It's God's grace plus our faith. And love it's God's grace plus when we when we put our faith in him and not just do it for one moment but continue throughout the rest of our lives loving him are there any God lovers in here this morning Galatians 5 verse 6 watch me now Galatians chapter 5 verse 6 Galatians 5 6 then 13 to 18 then 22 to 25 hear what verse 6 says verse 6 says for in jesus christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but faith come to man but faith which worketh by what love. by love you i'm going now to verse 13 to 18 verse 13 to 18 for brethren you have been called unto liberty no, I want to read it again. I want to tell Brother World. I want to tell Brother Wayne. I want to tell Minister You and Minister You. I want to tell you one more time. For you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love. By love what? serve one another where are we at now verse 14 says for all the law is fulfilled in one word even this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself but if you bite and devour one another 
take heed that you be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk. Come on church, we must do it. God says we must walk in the spirit. And if we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit. You are not under the law. If you are being led of the spirit. You are not under the law. Verse 22. If you are led of the spirit. You are not under the law. But the fruit of the spirit is love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, talk to me, against such, there is, and they that are Christ, come on son, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the spirit, woo, If we live in the spirit, let us what? Walk in the spirit. Galatians 6, 15 and 16. Galatians chapter 6, verses 15 and 16. For, for in Christ, Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creation, a new creature. And as many as walk according to the rule, watch this now, peace be on them, and mercy upon all the Israel of God. The what? Not the physical Israel, no. But the Israel of God. The first Israel messed up. You know who the second Israel is? Jesus. And because we are in Christ, we are the what? The Israel of God. Watch this now. Have you noticed how I have switched from the way I got started at the beginning telling us of the idiocy of how some of us in trying to make ourselves feel and look important. Treat others with scant regard. And even treat them like dirt. Just so as to prove which class we are in. Corona has revealed to us. Corona has revealed to us. That all of that is put on. It's a farce. It's just a put on. You see. We are, we all, we all get sick at some point. We all get sick. But let me go further. We all die. We all go through stuff of some sorts or the other. So, to waste time on those things is what it says. A waste of time. But now then to the important issues. So once you come into Christ... Once you come into Christ, you are dead to the old legal system. That old thing which is what the Bible calls it, can only declare you guilty and thereafter pronounce your doom. Friends, according to the Bible, the law cannot give life. Romans 3 and verse 20. Romans chapter 3 and verse 20. It says... That the law cannot give life. I am preaching this way to you this morning. Because I'm inviting you to life. I'm inviting you to come into life. That is what we have found. We are not perfect in every way. In terms of the physical things yet. But we are perfect in our spirits. Because God who has saved us. Has done all things perfectly. 
I could preach for two hours today and even beyond. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, Galatians what? Three and Romans 3.20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of what? And no flesh shall be what? Justified. Romans 3.20. Galatians 3.11. And 21 Galatians 3 11 and 21 here is 11 but that no man is justified by the law come on church but that no man is justified by the law in the what let's try again no man is justified by the law in the sight of God it is evident for for what that is where our hallelujah comes in hallelujah verse 21 is where we're heading down to is the law then against the promises of God God forbid for if there had been a law watch me now watch this carefully for if there had been a law given which could have given life Verily, righteousness should have been by... Whoa, but righteousness cannot come by the law. Life, beloved one, is had but only at the point when one becomes united with Christ. Life is had but only at the point when one becomes united with Christ. And continue thereafter living in Him. You get redemption from a life of sin. You get redemption from a life of sin. You get redemption from Satan. You even get redemption from self. But you only can get that when you accept Christ's offer. Which is his loving favor. And I need to tell you right away how... It is done. You put your complete trust in Jesus' life. Thereafter, you discipline yourself to stay under his leadership. You put your complete trust in the life of Christ. Thereafter, you discipline yourself to stay under his leadership because you truly believe. That he died on the cross for your sins. And you believe that God raised him from the dead. And you also have to believe that his leadership and his leadership alone is right for you to follow. So then my friend, as it gets more boring, I get more excited. Watch me now. After all that God through Christ has done. This man, Fitzroy, Carr, watch me tell you, this man, I am ready. After all that Christ has done, I'm ready to stand. I am ready to stand. I'm not bored. I'm not, watch me now. I am ready to stand. I am ready to stand. I am ready to stand in Christ. I am ready to stand with Christ. And I'm ready to stand for Are you hearing me today? You see, we shouldn't forget. Brother Wayne, we shouldn't forget. None of us, Brother Will, none of us, sir, not one of us should forget that the sentence that law had hanging over our heads, Jesus came, he took our place, fulfilled the payment for the sentence, for our sentence. Jesus gave up his sinless, perfect life as a sacrifice in payment for our sins. Romans 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift that God gives. That gives eternal life. That gift is eternal life. That gift is the real gift of life. Jesus and the carol became a substitute for us. Giving us a grand opportunity to escape. Say escape. Say it like you understand the word. Say escape. escape. He became a substitute brother Ferron for us. Giving us this grand opportunity to escape. Yes. 
He gave us, He's given us the opportunity to escape death. He has given us the opportunity to escape hell. He has given us the opportunity to escape eternal damnation, which is total separation from God. Where there is no light, only complete darkness. I'm talking about complete and total separation from God. It is a place where there is no light. It's just complete darkness. Da Matthew 8, 12. Matthew 8 and verse 12. How think ye? Matthew 8 and verse 12. Matthew 8, verse 12. I'm looking for Matthew 8 and verse 12. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, and there shall be... They shall be what? The, the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. And there shall be weeping and what? Matthew 22, 13 is where we're going next. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 13. Let me tell you something. I'm not weary. I'm not bored. I am not even tired. I would, let, let me tell you something. I want, I'm going to read this into your hearing. Matthew 22, 13. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be what? Weeping. Weeping and what? Matthew 25 and verse 30. Come on. Matthew 25 and verse 30. Matthew 25 and verse 30. And cast... Watch this now. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into what? Outer darkness. There shall be weeping. Weeping and what? Watch me. Those of us who have sought him as Savior and Lord, we are happy. I want to just announce to you that those of us who have sought him as Savior and Lord... We're happy. We're happy, happy, happy. So yielding oneself to God by yielding to Christ in faith and love through God's grace is the only way to prepare ourselves for life. It is the only way to prepare ourselves for this life and for the life to come. All we did and all you need to do, all that we who are here already have done, and all that you need to do is to acknowledge your guilt before the law. Yes. Law has found you guilty. Acknowledge, acknowledge your guilt before the law. For hear what? Law, my friend, and its perfection found all of us guilty. We just need to acknowledge our guilt of sin. Then accept Jesus' death on the cross. Accepting it as our death. Galatians 2.20 counting ourselves, counting ourselves as crucified with him. Turn away from living our own living Living not just our own lives, but living unto ourselves. Turn away from that to living them, living our lives as unto Him. Doing it in Him and for Him. Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in this flesh, I live it by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My friends, it's only one way. It is only one way. Outside of this Jesus, life makes 
no sense. Outside of Christ, life makes no sense and life has no meaning. Outside of Christ, outside of Christ, life makes no sense and life has no meaning. Here's the real difference between attempting to live one's life by the law as against living a life by faith in the spirit. I'm giving you an opportunity to shout when I read this. Romans 11 and verse 30. Watch this now. For as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through the unbelief of the Jews who did not accept him. What is now? Even so, have these also now not believed that through your mercy, they also may obtain mercy. I'm ready. I am ready to stand for God. Hey, Marilyn, man, I'm ready to stand and to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. I'm ready to go to the Jews. I'm ready to go to I'm ready. I'm ready. Romans 15 and verse 9. Romans 15 and verse 9. I can only say that this is the glory and power of God's grace. Verse 9. And that the Gentiles might glorify God for his what? For that the Gentiles may glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing on only Jesus knows <laughs> only Jesus knows Jesus knows what he has in store that's right Barbara that's right Barbara hallelujah If you who are listening to this message would know the peace that comes by being able to rest. Watch this now. If you would know the peace that comes from being able to rest in the midst of the storm. You would surrender your life to Jesus right now. The battles you are fighting and losing. You would no more have to fight in your own strength. Nor would you have to fight alone. You would know that come hell or high waters, come sickness or death, in Christ you are safe. The fear that you are battling right now, the struggles when you are awake. What is now? Sometimes you are awake in the night and you are having all kinds of struggles and the brain can't rest, you can't sleep. You would get an opportunity to give them over to God and find rest in the midst of the storm. The days of having to try to be good enough in order to find favor with God are long gone. God who is the only one that is good has come to us who are not good so that by his death on the cross, by Jesus' death on the cross, we can become the righteousness of God in him. Bro, I want you to listen to me carefully today. For he has made him to be sin for us. That is what? 2 Corinthians 5.21 He has made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin of his own. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him.
Why would you want, why would you want to resist God? In this moment when the Holy Spirit himself is speaking to you, convicting you, wanting to convert you, why would you even attempt to resist God? Don't resist. Don't resist him. All you've got to do is to hear the gospel, believe the gospel, repent of your sins, follow through with repentance in walking into water baptism, and you'll get your name written down in heaven. The most important thing is to get your name written down in heaven. I'm 52 this year, let me, me just tell you. And I went to look for my father yesterday and mom, they're both 92 this year. Let me just tell you something. Make me not fool myself. We ought not to fool ourselves. The only thing that makes sense is to have your name written down in heaven. Bow your heads everywhere. I want you to pray with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I ask that you wash me in your blood. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And write my name down in your book. <clears throat> After this confession and prayer. I will either call the number here. Which is 4353394. And speak to somebody. Or I will go to a Bible believing church. And I will tell the pastor that. I was led to the Lord by a preacher man. On television or on Facebook. And I want to be baptized. Follow through. Be a real big man. Be a real big woman. Be a young man, a young woman. Be, be that boy, that girl who is different. You're serious about life and you want God. Surrender to him today. And he will not disappoint. Amen. Let's all stand together. My friends, it's a real pleasure for us bringing this to you. Stay tuned and continue watching. Feel free to send a love gift to help us with these messages. Our Scotiabank account number is 1006 May God bless you and your family richly.